Look alive. Whoever took out the other ship could still be around. Oh shit! It's the Desert Rangers! Pull back! Do not engage! The Patriarch can keep his money! Calling those November Cowboys one more time. Heard you met Ironclad Cordite. So now that you've talked to Cordite, you know what the Patriarch is really like, right? Glad to hear it, and what he told you ain't the half of it. Someday, I'll tell you some real horror stories. Is he with you now? Glad to hear it. Do your best to keep him alive. He could really help us out when things start happening. For now, just keep helping the Patriarch collar his kids. We're with him on that. Can't have a bunch of rabid animals running around loose, can we? Although... I guess he wants you to bring him back alive. We, uh, we don't care so much about their condition. Fact is, Colorado will be a whole lot safer without him. The Patriarch's heirs will always have a claim on this land. And from what I hear, they're even worse than Buchanan himself. Anyhow, I'll be in touch. Dead red, over and out.
Charlie is at it again. I found a way to increase our fortunes. How does that sound? Over! Oh, sorry. I mean, sorry. Listen closely. Charlie knows you visited the bazaar, and you know how important it is to trade in Colorado. And more importantly, how wealthy it is. Problem is, the monster army holding it is weak. Without your help, they'd already be gone. But sooner or later, someone is gonna wipe them out. So why not make it a cartel stronghold? With your help, it'll be easy. And you'll be well compensated for your contribution. Don't worry. Your old buddy Charlie won't sell you short. We just need a little assistance, and you'll be paid handsomely. I dealt straight with you so far, right? Didn't I tell you the truth about McTavish? Don't I always tell you the truth? Come on, Red Hats, it's me, your old buddy, Charlie. I knew you'd say that. All right, we have a hideout not far from the bazaar entrance, near the old parking lot. Go over there and wait for you. Bring your whole team, and the bazaar will be ours. Rangers uncover human smuggling conspiracy! Subversive leader arrested! Did you read the last issue of the Colorado Patriot? Oh, real funny cartoon in there. When Jeffy ripped the robo-arm off that scar collector, I <laughs> cracked up. November, this is Ranger HQ. I have good news. There's some new gear here next time you stop by. It's a big improvement over the basic stuff we had before. But one last thing. The Patriarch commissioned a sculptor to make a statue of Vargas outside our HQ. He's nearly done, but he'd like to know who we want to dedicate this statue to. Good call, November. Making sure the Rangers know they'll be remembered if the worst comes to pass may boost camaraderie. I'll pass it along. Over and out. Got some business for you. If you have the full one. Got some business for you. If you have the cojones. <laughs> Peace, strangers. We all know both sides are armed and lethal, so why don't we just skip the posturing and get to business, huh? A girl I own ran away recently, and it's proving harder than expected to track her down. She seems to sense us when we get too close. On the other hand, she'd never suspect. <laughs> Hell with your reputation for rescuing little lost lambs. She might even seek you out. So, what you say, hmm? Want to find her for us? <laughs> that bothers you? You find it unethical 
You kill crazy corpse robbing tyrant funded gun jockeys are offended at how I make my living? Sorry, compadres. This is the end times. Nothing but us devils left. You can't seriously be considering taking this monster up on her offer. Now, now, little girl. Leave matters of business to the adults, huh? You know the sealed rooms in your base? Bet you're curious what's inside them. Bueno, I'll tell you for free. It's old world tech. The kind people waged wars for. And... I know the codes. In the name of good faith, I'll give you one now. 900-909-3500. Test if you like. I'll wait. <laughs> You'll get the second code. The one that gets you into the room with the even better goodies. When you bring me my lost little lamb. He used to stay here all the time before we moved east. Had plenty of time to explore all its nooks and crannies. Hey, don't worry. No hard feelings about you taking it over. We like our new home on the plains. Those warlords have a lot of money to spend. Nelly? No. Hallie, I think. Anyway, her new owner will rename her. What's important is her description. Early 20s, blonde, shapely, skinned like a princess. You'll know her when you see her, I promise you. She'll make your little hearts go Peter Pat. <laughs> You'll get the second code. The one that gets you into the room with the even... Be Not a problem. Come see me when you've kitted yourselves out in your fancy new gear. Adios, compadres. This place is really coming together. Please, Miss Hackett. There's no reason to get so angry. The hell there isn't! My people didn't start that fight. One of your rangers started it, and now you're telling me we gotta be the ones to give up our space? I'm just saying. Oh, Team November, I'm glad you're here. There was an altercation in the barracks. Greatski's recruitment efforts have gone well, and HQ is filling up. More new rangers every day, which is great for our mission, but it also means we're running out of beds in the barracks. Rangers are having to sleep in shifts. This is leading to friction with Miss Hackett's people, who, as you know, were there first. Some of the new rangers don't understand this, and they think of them as, well, freeloaders. Usually, it's just snide comments, but today... One of yours started shouting that we should be thrown out of our home before trying to pull Davy off his cot. Which is completely unacceptable behavior. Unfortunately, the problem is not going to go away if we ignore it. We need a solution before things explode. There have been plenty. Most of your rangers are all right with us, but... There's more than a few who ain't calling us names as they walk past or telling us we're on borrowed time here in our own home. Miss Hackett, I'm embarrassed. Part of the oath we take as rangers is to protect the downtrodden. It hurts to hear that our recruits are failing to live up to that oath. Something must be done. Yeah, well, we're waiting. We gotta get a handle on this one way or the other. Enough chaos going on outside the base. Don't need it when we get home, too. Well, the warden here suggested we move into the brig. 
I suggested she shove that idea up her ass and leave us be. We were here first. We don't take up much space, and you said the barracks were ours when you first showed up. But things have changed since then, and they're not going to change back. If we're going to live side by side, we both have to be flexible. Shoot. You, you're siding with us? Uh, uh, wow, thank you, Rangers. The honorable choice, Team November. But it won't lessen the friction. I'm afraid we'll pay for this later. <clears throat> nice place they got here. Classy. Yeah. I think somebody pissed on the floor right here. What kind of disgusting animal do a thing like that? It's terrible. Huh? What? Huh? Who, who's that? Tears? Is that you, Rangers? Boy, I ain't seen you in a donkey's age. <laughs> this calls for a, a drink. Cheers! Hey, who drank my squeezins? What kind of a place is this? Ha 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 ha! What do you know? I ain't had a liver for years. Ha ha ha! You're, you're drunk. If we was in Colorado, there'd be snow all over the place, and you'd all be wearing. Porcus, you gotta cut back on the squeezings. Come on, Rangers! You know me! It's Scotchmo! Your pal! I fought Cochise with you! I hope you beat all them damn robots! You can't fool me with that stuff. I know who you are. Well, don't mind if I do. Cheers! But I ain't here to drink, nuh -uh. I'm here to sign up. I want to be a ranger again, just like before. I know you rangers have been going through hard times, so... I'm doing my patriotic duty and offering my services as a tired and, and true veteran. What do you say? Hot diggity! Give me a gun and uh, point me at the bad guys! I, I'm. Ready? Lead on, Rangers! Uh. Hello again, Rangers. There is still injustice in the world, isn't there? Let's go. What if we had animatronic displays, like in the Patriarch's Museum in downtown? Isn't that how you get, um, robots? Robots are autonomous. Animatronics are just machines. I don't know what those words mean, but I'd still shoot first and ask questions later. <sighs> okay, maybe not.
Hey, November. Got a delivery for you. Glad to see you back, Rangers. Cleaned up the worst of the mess in your absence. Now, what can I help you with? An Arapaho caravanner dropped off a container full of goodies and said to thank you again for the save. Well, I've got friends in the Marshals, the Patriarch's Palace Guard, and some local militias. They've always got more folks wanting to sign up than they have positions for. So I asked my pals to send over everybody on their waiting lists. Now, some of these folks may be uh, less than top grade for sure, but most will be solid recruits, ready and willing to learn. You'll have to pick and choose. I'll be here. Hey, Rangers. Good to be here. We're the mechanics Gideon Reyes sent. Uh, don't mind the mess. We're still settling in. Well, Wrench said he met a mechanic up in the bazaar who had some real talent. Now, we don't really need more personnel, but it wouldn't hurt to have an extra set of hands. If you find yourself in the bazaar, see if you can find him and invite him over. Appreciate it. Of course. Let's see if we can find what you want. 